Hello and welcome. It's Eunice from Aerial Practice. There are many ways to do footlock on the aerial hammock. Today, I'm going to show you my favorite way and a mini footlock flow. Before we get started, I want to share it is important to use a crash mat and have a spotter standing by when practicing aerial in case you get stuck or need support during the trick. If I had more space, I would keep the hammock at the usual waist height. Placing my grip high and bring my body up to get into the first lock like this. To adjust for low ceiling practice, I'm bringing the hammock lower to make more space in the air. Beginning by placing my left leg in and standing on the right of the hammock. Grab the right sills and place my grip just in front of my chest at this height. Bring the right leg out to this position. Using the right knee to guide the hip up, turn and land on the hammock. Leaning my weight to the right, sit the hip lower than the left foot. Repeat step two to turn and land again. Here's a good spot to play with some hand movement. Then repeating step three to lean and sit again. You can see sitting low helps to get the lock in the right place. I like this method better because it looks cleaner than kicking the silk with my free leg. Right knee up, turn and land on our third lock. Placing the right grip higher, so the left hand can go through the space between the grip and the silk. Straightening the left leg, adjusting the right grip. Now ready for the mermaid pose. Following my right knee to turn clockwise once, and twice, leaning my upper body back to bring the knee outside of the silk and hook. Be sure the hammock is around my waist before letting the hands go. If you're more flexible, you can try to straighten the right leg for a split here. Grab the silks to come up and turn clockwise for the last time. Watch my grip here to bring the silks to the front. Bring the right knee in for this final pose. Now I'm going to repeat the whole flow from the top. Practicing both sides not only can give you a more even training, it also helps to improve by thinking how to mirror what you have done. I find that starting off each practice on the weaker side helps me to make sure it is not forgotten. My goal is to practice until it is impossible to tell which side is better or worse. Now I'm repeating the whole flow on the other side.
If you want to see more hammock, hoop, and aerial fitness videos, check out other videos on aerial practice and stay tuned by clicking the subscribe button. If anything else you would like to see, let me know in the comment below. Have a wonderful day and see you in the next video.